situation to situation, but like he had a lot of uh, good moments. Yeah, kind of. Like, I think uh, some of his calm was he wasn't able to completely like capitalize and finish off, like when he missed that re grab on top of the side platform. Mm -hmm. Like, he, he looked a little uncomfortable during the scraps, but once he moved to the bigger stages where he had more room to play with, he felt a lot more uncomfortable, and he felt like he could execute his game plan a lot better. Mm. Yeah. He's able to spend more time just waiting in center stage, maybe walling out if he had the advantage. All right, we have the run back, Daki versus Teddy. So Daki took one game of hunters. Um, Daki takes the up though. Oh, but he gets the receipt. Down tilt turn. I would say Daki and Ren actually have pretty similar playstyles in this matchup. Mm -hmm. So the fact that Teddy is coming off hot off a set versus Brandon is probably a nice warm up for him. Mm. Yeah, definitely. And it's a nice warm up for him going into Grands should he win this. Yeah. So we'd love to see a close set. It's hit by that down smash. I think he was holding down. Okay. Going for the drill shines, a little aggressive on that shield there. It's the drill, but he shined in that position, so you can just knock him off. His shine was just a little bit too short. Yep. And then Teddy just jumps out there. Back in. Resets. Yeah. He didn't really capitalize on that. I think he tried going for the up smash, but he missed it. Yeah, I think you're right. And now Teddy's up with solid two stocks. Like that's what's scary about Peach is not hitting her, but actually finishing her off. Yeah, like you can hit her over and over again, and then get two stocks down and wondering why. Fox doesn't have the advantage of the uh, up throw up air in this situation, so it's a bit harder to kill. Just for the back, and then he just waits and hits her with the air. Oh, he gets the grab. Um, it's pretty hard to connect the up throw up there. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's an old Smashboard thread that actually claims that Peach can always get out of it. I don't know if that's true or not, but it probably at least means that it's difficult for Fox to connect it. Definitely. He's gonna... Okay, he's from the flat. Then he tries to catch him on the turtle. And the Daki just gets hit by the down smash. Sure. Really low percent camp, but not getting it. Daki like waited and then he got that shine right there, but he wasn't able to capitalize on it. Oh, Ooh. drill into drill, into shine into shine, into bear oh. into bear. That's so many edge chances right there. That was such a sick train. Oh. And he literally just rolled away from the... After Peach Lane. Knowing, like, he was just gonna get jabbed. But he ran into the net. Cool. Went for the drill. Oh, dude, Daki's bringing it back. Well, last stock now. Waiting in the corner. It's that up there. Oh, that's huge damage. Dude, could Daki steal his game? Maybe. Like, this was looking like Teddy's game, but Daki is on fire right now. But he gets down smashed. Oh, oh Sakurai? And Teddy missed Sakurai. his. Okay, we got the trade. Oh, this is so scary for both sides right now. He crosses through and almost gets Oh, oh Daki gets it! Rustin popping off for Daki in the back. Yeah. Daki did pretty good. Uh, I think uh, Teddy started to have maybe a few more flubs. Things like that. And uh, later on the part of the game. Dude, Daki was becoming really good after that. Confidence must be surging in. Yeah. He got the up air, which was really crucial to... Ooh, he 
just waits for the down smash. It's in the air. Let's see if I get him in time. Okay, um, he gets tricky. Teddy tries to be even trickier and sort of a forced SD. Yeah, the deck playing really well. Um, honestly, really good pressure off stage. Ooh, this is big. Oh, a double up tilt after he crashes, crashes the first one. Okay. Wave lands, wave lands. Because wave lands can make it pretty tricky for Peach to know where to land. Grab out snare. Oh, yeah. just a fall off back here. Yeah, okay, that's the suck. That's a pineapple. Oh, he's and now he has a bomb. <laughs> he has a bomb, but from what I've heard, bomb is like not very good when your opponent's a low percent. That's true. Like it can hurt you a lot more than it can hurt your opponent. But if Teddy Oh <laughs> He got the four there. <laughs> oh Melee is a, a game of shot in front of you. That brought me so much joy to see. Yeah. And I guess to take back what I said, if you can convert out of a low percent situation, then the bomb is hella good. Yeah. He was just holding onto the bomb, trying to get as much damage as possible, I feel like. And he did it. Got the kill. The thing is, when you're holding the bomb, you can't dash, or craft, dash attack or grab. Yeah. Which are like two really important tools of low percent usually. But he was able to get all of that stuff off his book after area, so. Yeah, definitely. It's the back. But it doesn't kill you. Just wait. Dude, he really turn around. Like, he was looking really strong when Jack gets started. Now it's three stocks to one. Oh, oh. second SD by Teddy. One and a half SDs, I suppose. <laughs> the raw oh, he gets the shot. Did Daki hit any up throw uppers this entire game yet? I don't think so. Or is Teddy just jumped out of him? Well, he went for forward throw there. I think Daki's like playing for position now with the grab. Gets the kill. Yep. That shine with Sagana Peach is so insanely strong. As long as you can execute it. Like, it doesn't have to be an infinite for it to be really, really good. Oh, another one. Like he went for the up tilt up tilt twice again, and it works out. He goes for the up tilt there, does not get the conversion. Is it there? He rolled behind. Ducky very content with laser. Oh, he. Oh! Both those up smashes, they look like they should have hit. Oh, and he gets the edge. just went straight into the four there. Well, it's 1 1. Ducky! That looked like Daki's game, dude. He almost brought it back again from three stocks to one. Yeah, but then, like, he just went straight into the fourth player. Yo, this match is talking about Yoshi's. What does he have? Not Stadium. Is it by the four there again? <laughs> the weight grab. into the grab. <laughs> he just jumped over the speech. Playing big club. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so Teddy just went down there and just waited too long. I got shine. It's kind of weird how Daki's going for the four dares right now. I think he's just flubbing. Four dare can be decent. I've seen like four dare string into itself. I mean, it's a higher percent thing. Mm. Four dare, like. It's also kind of weird how it puts out hitboxes. Yeah. Um, so, like, you can, you can, like, if your opponent's expecting an air, then, like, you can have a hitbox at a different timing by using fair instead. It also has more. I think the biggest thing though is that it's Fox's move that has the biggest like. It's the best at covering like up and above him, uh -huh. which is like yeah. a spot that Peach really likes to be at. You see this more with Falco's fair. Falco's fair is better at that job, but uh, it's good with Fox too. Okay, up, up throwing a down smash. Oh, nice nair. Jump. Daki ran by. Okay, so oh, oh it goes it. under him. <laughs> oh, and he misses Randall. Randall's smiling. Yes. He wanders away. Never to save the day. He tried getting the uh, down air drill, but he just got slapped. Alright, so we've seen Decky make a comeback and almost make another comeback. So, like, this is definitely not over. 
pop to see what he does. I do feel a little sketched out about the Yoshi's pick. Like, not having that much room to run around is, uh, it's good for Peach. It's good for Peach. You can kill Peach faster, but it it's kind of scary because Peach can also, like, she has a lot of hard hitting moves. It can really knock you off the stage and then you can get edge guarded pretty easy. Yeah, definitely. On the other hand, the wall is nice protecting when you recover. And a lot of Peach's edge cards do tend to put Fox in situations where Fox has to wall attack. Oh yeah. yeah. That was pretty close. Oh, getting really aggressive with his up airs, but still safe. Oh, okay. Yeah, up the off Randall is not going to work out there. Okay, Zach needs to make it back here. Oh! Plus, he keeps going on his own with the up and it scares me, man. Once again, Daki just went, uh, he tried going towards, like, the ledge, like, that type area, and Teddy just had, had it covered, like, both times. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daki on turn is a turn the game. Set of interactions. Double dash attack into fair. Catching all those techs. That trade is in there. Ooh, he just double shines him. That's the end of his stock. The air dodge from Teddy there was interesting. He was within range to grab a ledge, but not really to actually get off stage with it. He goes for the up Gets the shine. Up to? Oh, no conversion of the up tilt. They are basically tied. They are s oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it's really hard to cover both rolls with Peach. Um, you usually have to commit to which tech they think you think they're going to go for. He got hit by the down. And then this time he shortened it. So he didn't get yeah, once again, he goes horizontally, and Teddy's prepared to cover it. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more like slightly angled up into drift back and things like that. Yeah, I feel like that mix up would deal with a lot of what Teddy's trying to do to catch the straight horizontal. It seems like Teddy is like caught the straight horizontal like for the majority of the time. Yeah, I mean Daki lost game two off it. Mm. Like not to say that Teddy couldn't have covered other options, but like that is the option he chose to cover the Daki went for. Yeah, and I think it, and he was also like covering that option in, like the third game at, towards the end, mm -hmm. like. Daki was trying to get back on the stage, but he just, uh, just up these straight into the beach. It's hit. Got stuck in his shield, and then he got just, he just got shield. His turn is stock, man. Daki has fallen behind every single game. Um, which is not the best look, even with the comebacks. Um, I don't know what it says about early Daki versus late Daki in terms of how his gameplay evolves over the course of a game. Um, like, I definitely see his adrenaline kicking in more, you know, when he's behind. But playing from behind is really rough. Okay, not, no up air. Oh, he up, up smashes over the down smash. And then he just up smashed him on shield and got grabbed for it. And that's... That time he did it. And that, okay. that was it. Good game. So Teddy's so good. <laughs> Teddy is OP. Definitely. Good games, though. Now, Daggy played really, really well. And he was looking super scary the first two games. I don't want to say still looked really good, you know, the two games after that. I feel but, like uh, Daki was in a pretty, like, uh, rough position. Just, like, Teddy was floating really high above him. It's kind of hard for Fox to, like, really get in and uh, do much or, like, 